2013 draws to a close. I have a bunch of questions for the man who's been the force behind Sankalp, Intellicap, Avishkar, Vineet Rai, Chairman, Intellicap, CEO, Avishkar. Pleasure to have you here with us. Uh, listening to everything that we have over the last three days, I'm going to spend the next few minutes just asking you for definitions because definitions seem to be at the core of the debates that are taking place mm -hmm. here and now. Impact investing, what's the Vineet Rai um, analysis of it? How do you define it? All investments make impact, especially if you're investing in India. So if somebody is making, if somebody is claiming to be an impact investment, must hold himself or herself accountable to a slightly higher order. So it has to take much higher risk in creating the kind of returns they create. And that's to be is impact investing. So a much higher risk relative to commercial capital means that you're doing something which is different from what commercial capital can do. What's interesting is that if I asked, uh, you know, 10 other delegates their definition of impact investing, there would be pretty interesting variations. Is that worrying for you? No, it is not because those definitions, if you look at, would finally boil down under one this thing. So you can call them dysfunctional, dysfunctional markets. You can call them higher risk. Uh, somebody will call lower returns. Somebody will call lower risk adjusted returns. Somebody would cause how many people you impacted. But these are all outcomes. Final input is actually about there is capital going, there is risk which is disproportionate to the potential return. And the potential return could be zero, could be high, could be low, we don't know what it is. And there, because you are creating a business, you're creating an outcome that will have social metric. Now, will those social metric all be positive? We don't know. And I think there are lots of hypotheses around those what we don't know. Uh, what we actually need to know as an investor is what we know. And what I know is I'm taking much higher risk than what a commercial capital will. And therefore, I'm doing something different. What's the um, yardstick you, you use, or once again, a definition of a social enterprise? Again, the Vineet Rai uh, view on this. Well, I actually believe, again, if you look at India, every enterprise creates jobs. Every, every real estate actually creates a huge amount of jobs. And the difference is, what is the difference between a social enterprise versus making a five-star hotel? Because five-star hotel also employ a lot of poor people. And the difference is, actually, it's a new idea where you either try to enhance livelihoods of people who may not have an alternative, by creating a new livelihood, new business, et cetera, et cetera, in an area which is difficult where there's nobody going there, or you are actually reducing vulnerabilities by creating affordable education, affordable health care, uh, providing clean, clean energy in a form that would actually be reachable and affordable to them. It's a, finally a game of reducing vulnerability or in, enhancing incomes. If these two twain can be met, you are largely in social enterprise, then of course every investor will have his own definition. I don't think the debate is very important. What is more important is there is a lot more work to be done. We have to do the mainstream work as well, and we need to do work which qualifies under impact slash social, whatever. Okay. I don't think the definition per se are important. They are important when we scale up, but we need to start thinking about them today. Well, you know, you're thinking about them today because you're uh, also thinking about how to scale up because the theme is, you know, transformational change. And I could paraphrase that to say, you know, scale impact. Uh, so. What were some of the key takeaways for you personally as you listen to everything and everyone around you at Sankalp? What is actually the most interesting takeaway for me personally is actually the, the, the modicum or the size of the people who actually are now very consciously thinking very scientifically about the issues we are raising has grown beyond the few small inner circles. The biggest surprise I had was maybe 75% of the people at Sankalp were not known to me personally. And that actually itself is a big surprise because I always prided myself in knowing that India is a small country. We are only 1 billion people and everybody knows everybody. Unfortunately, this time there are a lot of people I did not know, uh, which tells you two things. Either I am actually not as smart as I thought I was, or maybe there is a seriously new number of, large number of new people who are moving in. And I think that's basically my takeaway, that the, the sincerity and that actually brings to the question of why should you need to think about the future today? is because I think we had started seeing the early turnaround in this impact investing social impact space. As more and more people enter, it's also a perfect time to think about self-regulation. Yep. You don't want to go down the microfinance way. You've taken the first step, eight people raising their hands and saying, we're going to form a council uh, you know, which will work on how to create and define a regulatory body. But what's at the core of regulation, a self-regulatory body? I think. Uh, at the core of it is basically there are 5, 8, 10, 12, 15, 20 passionate people trying to do passionate stuff which they believe in. And since we each believe very strongly in what we are saying, 
we may actually differ very strongly with each other. Now, the point is some of us, we largely fall into the ambit of what Indian Venture Capital Association is, but then Indian Venture Capital Association and our common minimum program will lie with normally structures, tax, etc. But there is more beyond what we stand for. We stand for a different kind of investing approach and different kind of uh, return approach, which includes both impact as well as financial return. And therefore, there are certain definitions which may not be of interest to mainstream venture capital and PE firms, but is of great interest to people who are watching us closely. Now, today we are not really significant in terms of size, but the way and the pace at which we are changing, I mean, the fact that we have a 100% growth in Sankalp audience tells you that the market in terms of investing is growing at 100% as well. Uh, we are under the radar when we are 100, 200, 500 million dollars, but we are going to be 2 billion, 5 billion, 10 billion dollars. At that point of time, if we start thinking about who we are and why we are different, we will have been running behind the curve, far too behind. And if there is some cultural or uh, mistakes that we are making which we are ignorant of or which the government does not see it, we would actually be in serious trouble. Today, we have no one who can represent us because each one of us have our own biases. We all carry our own positions. We need to actually come to a common minimum program amongst ourselves so that when we actually face a challenge, we may need to be able to articulate who we as a collective are. Yeah. And I think it's a desire to be do that, maybe much ahead of any challenge we face, and hopefully we should not face any challenge. So, you know, you refer to the fact that, you know, you also need to be one voice, one body, uh, one group of people when you're talking to the government. And are you going to do a lot more of that, talking to the government, or is it premature? You're going to be ready internally to talk to the government should the need arise. I think in a country like India, where the development needs far outweigh the efforts of any individual, government is the largest player. Now, I have at my own peril has to ignore the government. We actually have a very high regard for what government does. It's the easiest thing to do is criticize the government. The diff most difficult thing to do is actually support the government in what it is doing. We believe where we are is our role is to support the government. We are a very small piece. We are actually trying to support the government and we must actually work with the government to create more value. We don't own the poor, we don't own the low income business. It's finally the government people, poor people want to be recognized themselves as individually. We are just doing our very little to help them. We want to stand by the side of the government and not really try to make an issue about who we own and what we are doing. So, so given a choice, uh, our position is we, we believe that the interaction with the government is a fait accompli. Whether we do it forcefully or we do it down the line, we have to engage with them. It's better that we start articulating and clarifying our position to the government early. If you had to pick a theme for Sankal for 2014, what would you pick? I suspect you mm -hmm. have a lot of say in what the theme is as well. But, you know, what, what's the track you take for next year? I think one of the big challenges with Sankalp is that it has to move away from a personality centric thinking and this is actually one of the biggest challenges. So the theme beyond Sankalp is it should not be actually being influenced by one individual or the other. And I think therefore Sankalp has to move from being one individual or one group dominated platform to be a voice of the collective sector. And I think one of the biggest theme change that you will see is the next year theme will not be decided by any individual. Okay. On that note, Vinitra, thanks very much for your Thank time. You.